Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, select each one of these objects separately and give them a part number to help with actually selecting the object. So what I mean by that is, before in a previous one, I've shown you how you can separate these objects into separate layers. But in this one, what I want to do, let's say I want to keep it all together. I don't want separate layers, but I also want, but I want an, let's say, easier way to select the objects. So what I used to do, or one thing I, 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 you could do, is give them a part number or a part name so they're easy to select. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Detail and Merge the Points because I've reopened this model from the last tutorial, so they're all on one layer. Then what I'm going to do is, when, making sure I've got the Polygon tool selected, is click on one, go to Selections and Connected. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to give it a, a part's name. So if we go to... Uh, Let's say, uh, if we go down here, look, it says create part. Click that, call it, let's call it R1. I think these are supposed to be rocket shells. Okay, and then I'm going to forward slash to drop it. Select a polygon of the next one, and then connect selection connections or the, or the square bracket. And again, part number R2. And what I'm going to do is do this with all of them going all the way for, through. So we'll have six rocket cases a bottom and a top and then we'll jump back to show you how i select them okay so i've given all these parts uh, a, num a name each here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to window and open this window here which is just called stats window and then if i just open it up now down the bottom here look you'll notice here it says parts and there's a little drop down and what this has got is all the parts so if I just click on let's say the top and then just click select the poros it will select that and again let's say I wanted that and uh, rocket six and, and it'll add them as well if I don't want it you can just press the minus uh, and this is just a quick way of selecting or deselecting if you want uh, any of the any of the actual objects but on their own kind of layer so they're all on their own layer but i'm just using i mean there's lots of other ways of doing it but like i'm saying you've got them all listed here uh and that obviously that's connected to the polygons that's part of that object that you can just go and select if you wish move around and texture it and so on but that's just a quick look at how i or one way let's say how i can make it easier to select objects in lightwave that's all joined together so thanks for listening